Now to a baffling case unfolding involving Chinese scientists and toxic fungus. Two Chinese scientists are accused of trying to smuggle the mushrooms into the United States. Federal authorities say the researchers plan to study the, the samples in the University of Michigan lab where one of them worked. CBS News Justice correspondent Scott McFarland joins me now. Scott, help me out with this case of the fungus. What's, what, is the, what are the details of this case? Two Chinese nationals, one of whom is in custody, one of whom is very much not. In fact, there's going to be a court hearing tomorrow in Detroit where the feds are going to argue that Yang Yang Zhan should be held in jail pending trial. They do not have in custody Zhang Yang Lu. They are boyfriend, girlfriend. They're both researchers of fungus and molds. But here's the rub in the story. According to the feds, last July, Lu was flying from China to meet up with John, who's based at the University of Michigan. But they stopped him at the airport in Detroit. They checked his bags and saw those images. In Ziploc bags, tucked in balled up tissues, were this rare fungus, which is called Fusarium graminarium, which in large quantities, if there's large exposures, can cause billions of dollars of damage. Hemorrhaging agricultural products could also sicken livestock and humans. They sent him back to China, but upon further review, they think this is a smuggling operation and a potentially dangerous one. What, in terms of danger, what are the concerns in terms of labs and just catching this kind of thing as it comes through wherever it may come through? It's important because it underscores that Jean, she is a researcher at the University of Michigan. But there is no indication in the charging documents there's been exposure through that transport to Detroit or that it's been exposed otherwise. So no vulnerabilities at the lab. But if this got out of containment, there's concern it could have done untold damage to U.S. agriculture. In fact, this has been called, John, an agro-terrorism weapon, a potential weapon of sorts in the broader sense. And very quickly, what happens next in this case, Scott? Watch for this detention hearing tomorrow in Detroit. Very interesting stuff here. What do the feds reveal when they try to convince a judge to hold this 33-year-old University of Michigan researcher in jail until trial? It's a high bar for that.